principle, we also have order and disorder. So, can we think in terms of just one chain of one end is order and the other end is disorder? So, how it is possible to explain the existence of God in terms of the order? When I take all these five arguments for God's existence, personally I feel that uh, that are the fifth argument, argument from order and harmony in this universe, the design which is coming from originally Plato's philosophy which is taken over by Aristotle and now again repeated by St. Thomas, that design in this universe, that seems to be more convincing. It is, it is clear that there are disorders, but when we look into this world as a whole, we find that there is a harmony and there is a design in this universe. See, for example, when we, there are so, in, there are num, no, so many examples to, sh, to speak about the design which is, uh, which we can see in the nature. A simple example, and now I am speaking and you are listening. When I speak, the ideas which, in, which are in my mind are converted into vibrations of my vocal cords and the vibrations of the vocal cords are producing longitudinal waves in the air and the longitudinal air the waves in the air are received by your eardrum those vibrations of the eardrum is again transformed into brain signals and it is understood by you the design aspect here is, uh, first of all, the design in our own body, that is one thing, but external, with there are so many things are involved in this, this design. See, this vibration is uh, meaningless if there is no air. And uh, this, uh, the whole enterprise of speaking and hearing, that possibility is, that thing is possible because there is a design which is going complementary with the, the structure of my vocal cords and the existence of the air in this universe and so on. And no one can say that uh, all these things just happen by chance. So there should be an intelligent principle, a, su a supreme intelligence working in this universe and that can be considered as a God from the religious perspective. The word God can be given to that intelligent principle. And that principle, that argument can be applied even to present universe also. Mm -hmm. And that does not have to do, that is not a, an argument which is valid only in the geocentric universe. In all types of universe it can be applied. Mm -hmm. And, find, and so I find that uh, this fifth argument is more convincing than any of the other all arguments. the other arguments. Well, in this context, let me ask you, uh, uh, recently in United States, there were two types of uh, um, explanations about uh, the, the creator and uh, uh, the proof for the existence of God. They say that God is the designer. You were speaking that, you know, from uh, uh, Aristotle, uh, Aquinas was using the terminology that God as the designer or creator. So there is a particular ideology that has been brought against uh, yeah, evolutionary theory saying that, you know, there is creationism. So whatever exactly is found in the, the Bible, that is correct. So, God one fine morning just uh, created the world. So, when people were criticizing that creationism, they further developed it into something little more sophisticated known as intelligent design. God, and it has a short uh, term called as ID, 
intelligent design so how far this order and aristotelian thomistic uh, explanation 